Alright, it's time to move along. And now we have my Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes. Usually, used to. I used to keep all three of them in here. But after they bred and the harassment, oh, uh, Batwing was the male. And him and him and Big D over there did their do and now she I believe is gravid she's big and fat and pregnant so we're gonna have little western diamond back rattlesnakes sometime probably around Christmas I'm gonna put a couple of small rats in there and let them eat and since she is gravid and pregnant. She's got quite an appetite right now. Oh, okay. That rat's not going to waste any time. Oh, and there's the bite. I took that water bowl out, so I'll put it back in here and I'm going to clean it up. Sorry about the noisy air conditioner, but it's a hundred degrees outside. And when it's a hundred degrees outside, there ain't no way I'm turning off that air conditioner for any amount of time. So I have been started feeding Big D here about twice as much as what I usually feed. She's definitely got a major appetite going on. And I think that's because she's gravid. Alright, now that his mouth is busy, I'm going to put another another rat in there for bashful over here see if I can get it to where we can watch both of them alright bashful don't be too bashful we got things we gotta do we gotta eat baby we gotta eat Don't go over there, crazy. That rat just freaked clean on out, didn't he? It's not just her name. She actually is bashful. But she's also hungry. So if she's going to come out there and hunt that little rat down. And I'm afraid... As quick as Big D is tossing down that rat, she'll probably end up with both of them. Let's hope not. That rat is just hiding from, hiding in the wrong place. You see the size difference. Big D 
Kids always had a big appetite. And Bass Wolf, for the first year I had her, she refused to eat rats. She would only eat mice. Watch out, here we go. I told you Big D would be after the same rat. She ain't wasting no time. She don't even have that one swallowed past her throat yet. She's already after another one. She got it good, too. And behind the little petrified wood. Really, that's sweet. She got that one good. This one may not last as long. I hope not. I don't like to see them suffer for any amount of time. The sooner and better. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully back for the day. gave it a good bite too. Uh-oh. Come on, Big D, don't do it. You little pig. She's gonna do it. Look at that. That's what I didn't want. So I mean, I'm gonna put another rat in there, but if it gets to this point again, I will uh, remove her. She doesn't need more than two right now. That's plenty. Let me grab another one. And hopefully, hopefully Bashful will get this one. And of course, behind the petrified wood we go. Yay! I don't know what it is about being behind that piece of wood, but they sure like it back there. She's gonna suck that rat down real quick and go try to get a third. And I'm not gonna let that happen. And if I remove Bashful and try to feed her in a separate location she won't eat she just freaks out and she won't touch anything she don't like it that way so if I have to remove one it'd have to be big D it is kind of strange that the rats will run behind that piece of wood almost every single time but for some reason the snakes never think about going back there and looking they look everywhere but behind that piece of wood so the rats have got something figured out. They're like, I know the snakes will never look back here. And they're basically right. And if I get in that cage, and try to keep Big D from eating that third one, it's gonna disturb Bashful. But she's not gonna wanna eat either because she's disturbed. She's too shy. a nice little fang stretch. I think Big D's thinking about thirds. So I'm going to let her get that one swallowed down a little bit. Don't need her regurgitating. sleeping all day. She's ready to go outside. She likes to graze in the yard. That's where most of her food comes from. 95% of everything that that tortoise eats grows in my yard. Here goes a bite. I think Big D's found a little rat. Now, oh!
if I can get her to let go of that thing. If she lets go of it, I'm pulling her out of there. If she let go of it, let's see what I can do here. Your turn, baby. Just what I wanted to see. Alright. Good job, Bashful. 